Hi, this is Malcolm Dixon here. I've been asked to develop a PowerPoint looking at uh, where does research stop and development start. I'll start off with a quotation. Be yourself, everyone else is taken. I'm saying this because who are we? I think everyone has a clear idea about what the CG centres are, um, but not so clear, perhaps, about who the CRPs are. And this is understandable because CRPs are still relatively new and there's not been enough complete buy-in from some of the centres or individuals working in CG centres. Well, I suppose we are research organisations working in a development context. Our goals are development goals. But the problem is we can't achieve these goals unless we leverage the efforts of development partners such as extension services, NGOs and the private sector. The question about uh, where research stops and development starts implies a, a research development continuum from pure research through to, through to applied research and development. But there's also a suggestion in the question that CG centres and CRPs are faced by a cut-off point in the research in this continuum. But is this really the situation? Of course, we're not the only people doing research. The situation will vary from place to place, but a matrix of who does what might look like this. Universities concentrating on pure research, Natural research, uh, national research organisations and CG centres more focused on applied research, while the private sector and NGOs are more focused on development. So the natural default situation for CG centres and CRPs is to concentrate on applied research rather than pure research or development. But how can we define our, our position more clearly? The famous Scottish poet Robert Burns said, And would some power the small gift give us to see ourselves as others see us? To define our role more clearly, we need to take into account how other stakeholders, such as farmers, NGOs, donors, national research organisations and universities, see us, as well as the defining the research for development context in each country or value chain. We need to play to our strengths and identify our, quality, our unique qualities and unique selling points. I'll highlight three main points. Firstly, we're scientists and believe that applying the scientific process will help to achieve development goals. This means we have a part to play in conducting and organising research, but also documenting and communicating the results. Secondly, we're not-for-profit. We can act as honest brokers. We can build trust and facilitate development processes. Thirdly, we can spread knowledge to our multifaceted networks from scientific journals to face-to-face -face meetings with farmers. This means we can inspire similar values in others. To summarise, where should our main roles be? Obviously, in the main research cycle, illustrated here by the three boxes on top, um, we, can, we have a central role to play. We use value chain analysis to identify the research agenda. We plan and execute research. We write up the research and inform others of the results. But then, once this moves on to the development phase, we also have a role to play as the science partner for more development-orientated partners such as NGOs, extension organisations, and the private sector. So I would say there's not really a clear line between research and development. We just need to decide exactly who is doing what in each value chain. Thank you for viewing the presentation, and I'd welcome any comments. Thanks.